All right. We have here a package of Slack actions. These are actions that you can add to your flow or to your bot and uh, cause things to happen over at Slack or get information from Slack. And I've taken several of these actions and put them into a flow that, that's called the Salesforce Slack Administrator. Uh, and you can use this to administer Slack. So let's run this and see what it lets us do. And I am going to bring over here a Slack workspace that I have been uh, working on. So here we have this workspace. It's got some channels. Uh, and one of the things that, you know, authentication uh, is actually pretty straightforward to use these actions. They all expect a Slack authentication token. And the way you get a token is you create a Slack app uh, in your workspace. And that doesn't, that sounds like it's a big programming thing. It's not actually a big programming thing. Um, and I'll talk, touch upon how you do that later. But right here, we've got the token. This is Slack's website. And here is my little Slack. It's called it Vocable Action Bridge because there is no poetry in my soul. But um, here I am going to copy um, the OAuth token and use it right here. So that token that you create for your workspace, you can then bring uh, to any flow where you want to be, that you want to enable to manipulate that workspace. So we just pump that in and now we've got, so we've got our choices. We've got create a new channel. Let's start with that and create a new channel called uh, unofficial SF. So I'm successful, uh, but interestingly, if you go over here, uh, we won't actually see it on this list. Can you, can you figure out why? The reason that we don't see this unofficial SF here is that we haven't invited anyone to it. And what we're looking at, we are logged in. Uh, as, I'm logged in right now as me. I have not invited myself to this channel that I just created. Fortunately, we can use Slack Administrator to address that. So let's go to Manage Existing Channel and select the channel that we just created, Unofficial SF. And now we've got several things we can do to an existing channel. So I'm going to invite myself uh, and now if we go look over here, you can see that I have a notification. This channel has just popped up uh, and I have just uh, joined this channel. So let's see what else we can do here. Suppose we want to look at all of our channels. So this is all the channels I have on my workspace. I'm using the data table component, uh, which is another extension that you can install and use in flows to show this table. Uh, pulled some different information. Uh, and um, so this is useful. It's particularly useful when you're working. Sometimes when you're working with these actions, you, you need the ID, uh, which isn't always um, readily at hand. So we've got that. Uh, and then we can also see if we want to see the member members of a particular channel. Uh, I can get their IDs right here. Be nice, of course, to have their names. We'll leave that for a later improvement to these actions. Uh, and you can also archive a channel, which is as close to deleting as uh, Slack allows you to, to do. Uh, that will remove the channel from uh, from people's sort of channel lists. And uh, it will still be there in the background. And then kick user, you can use to remove a user uh, if you've got the right, uh, the right permissions. So the, you now, of course, you don't need to use this screen flow at all. This is really just a demo app. Um, if, you, if you find it useful for administering your Slack environment, great. Uh, but mainly it's just the goal of this app is just to highlight the power of these individual actions. Let's take a look 
at uh, a couple of them. Here's create Slack. Uh, and here is where the token's getting passed in for authentication. This lets you specify the name of a channel and whether it's private or not. In this first release of actions, uh, not every possible input is supported. Just haven't had time. Um, but uh, uh, in pre please do comment, provide feedback if there are particular inputs you need, you want to see added to these actions. Uh, and then inviter kick is actually done with a sort of general purpose managed Slack channel action that lets you specify the actions. So this one handles inviting, it handles kicking, it handles um, archiving. It's all done with this one manage Slack channel action. And uh, you can find all of these if you uh, install the package that is available, it contains all of these, you'll find them all here in the new action uh, screen. And you can provide the action name, channel ID. Some, some forms of management involve a user uh, or a list of users. So you kind of have to know based on which action you're picking, uh, which ones of these inputs to use. Uh, in a future release, we'll try and get a custom property editor here that, that does this a little more elegantly. But we just wanted to get this available so people could start running with it. Uh, and here's get channel list, archive, a bunch of other things. So so here, uh, here you go. I hope this is a useful uh, package and uh, let us know how things go.